Hey guys, how you doing? This is Trevor Page here. I'm a uh, software guy turned entrepreneur in late 2012, and I've just been working uh, full-time as an entrepreneur ever since. And uh, I'm often looking at new tools that I can use to help me out in my business. And there's been one sort of gaping hole, in my opinion, in in terms of a tool that needed to be created, at least uh, there, may, there may have been one created before like this one. Um, this is one's called Inspectlet, uh, but I'd never heard of one before until AppSumo released um, uh, an offer where you can sign up for free. Now, this one you can sign up for free anyway, so it's not really that big a deal through AppSumo, but it definitely gave them some visibility, and obviously I was able to uh, find this product. So, what are these guys about? This fills the need for you to be able to see exactly what your website visitors are doing on your website. Exactly what they see on your website, exactly where their mouse cursor goes, and exactly where it clicks. Uh, again, it's called Inspectlet. Um, it's really, really cool because here they kind of have on their homepage like a heat map type uh, thing going on, and it's kind of uh, misleading because, like I said, it's not just a heat map tool. Those already exist. This one actually shows you uh, what each individual session from each individual user looks like, what they see, and what they interact with. It's just insane. I've already found so many things on my some of my websites um, that I need to... Uh, uh, fiddle around with now that I see what the users are seeing. So without uh, wasting any time, let me jump into exactly what I'm talking about. So I have a website where I sell an ebook that really doesn't matter. That's not. It's outside of the scope of what we're talking about today. Um, but the first thing here is a video. Um, so this is one of the recorded sessions. It's paused at the moment, but immediately what I see here is I see that my website looks broken. Okay, it's not appearing correctly. And immediately I'm like, okay, there's definitely a formatting issue here going on. And when I look, I see that it's on the iPad. So what I did is I quickly went over, grabbed my iPad, went to my own website on my iPad, and I saw that it doesn't look correct. So if I play this session, you'll actually see this person. I've sped it up into two times, so it's going to go pretty quick. Um, but uh, you can see as they're scrolling through, like the margin here is all wrong. Like this should not appear like this. This, sh this uh, gray area should go all the way across. Um, so you see as you're scrolling along that it looks strange. So that's something I never would have known um, because I just didn't, I don't have time to test on every single platform um, whenever I, you know, release a new website because I always have a lot of websites out, a lot of products. I just don't have the time. But now this is forcing me to see the pain that the user sees. Like this looks horrible right now. So that's amazing feedback that I've, I've received just like that within, you know, five seconds of seeing this person, uh, their recording. If I go to this one, I've staggered a whole bunch. I forget now what this guy's problem was when I looked at it. Oh, this one was cut off. So you see here when the uh, the person's screen is only uh, so wide, right? So it tells me the screen dimensions. So this person's screen, I think this is the width. I guess my width is just too wide. So it's actually cutting off their view. And they'd likely probably have to scroll um, on their own screen to see the right-hand side of this that's being cut off. So again, formatting issue. I had no idea that this was happening because it looks fine on my computer whenever I had tested it. Something I never would have seen and noticed until I got this Inspectlet application. Um, I forget, oh, this one, uh, the, the guy, if I click play, he tries to click here on the author tag, um, which is not a link. So if I click play, you see he goes and he clicks twice on the author and then scrolls up and then he scrolls down and goes around. So you can actually see where their, like I said, where their mouse actually goes around on the screen and it's just so cool so now I should probably put some information related to myself um, up in the author section wherever that was if I click uh, back here um, so anyway you get the idea I should I should probably make those some clickable links in some way shape or form um, another session here this guy I can actually see I have uh, another product that I created that is uh, it's called survey to sale again it's outside of the scope of this talk um, but it's a widget that I've embedded on this page and I can see them actually interacting with the widget so if I click play I can see them clicking on it and I can see their mouse going through and clicking on some um, some of the uh, radio buttons and I see exactly what's going on but what's interesting is um, at the very end I can see them uh, select the coupon code so this thing gives away a coupon code so I, I see two things I see one you see the, their mouse goes and tries to select the coupon code right there is what they did and then they minimized it and they maximized it and then all of a sudden look at the timer it's completely messed up so that's one more thing I had no idea that this bug was happening now I can go and fix that the second thing they do is they don't know what to do from here. 
even though I give them two steps, copy the coupon code, and then on the checkout page, paste the coupon code, they seem to be ignoring that second step, and he goes up here and tries to click on this link up here, because apparently this is a bad design for this particular widget. So I'm kind of getting a dual purpose um, thing going on here, where I'm not only am I seeing how they interact with my website where I sell my ebook, but I'm also seeing how they interact with my widget, uh, my survey sale product. So I can see he clicks on the click here, and uh, and nothing is happening, and he's kind of frustrated, and he just closes the window. So it's amazing the feedback that you can get from just watching these people's sessions. And uh, right here, if I click here, this is now inside of the Inspectlet app. Um, I can go through and see all of these recorded sessions. So I have 297 sessions, and there's a way of, um, of filtering all these sessions and stuff, but I'm just being very broad right now with my use of it. And uh, I can just click on this one. I've never seen this one before. Um, I can go into it, and I can see it load. And I could just have a look and see what this guy does. And you see that that was pretty much the length of the session. That's all he really did. Nothing really happened. Again, it's sort of sped up in two, two times speed, so that doesn't really help me out um, or doesn't really tell me anything. I can click on this one, and I can see this guy's from the U.S., so maybe this is a, a more chance of me getting a sale because um, it's from the U.S. versus someplace like India. Uh, so as you can see here, I have the cutoff issue as well. The screen isn't wide enough, and he just kind of scrolls up and down, and that's kind of it. Um, so it's really interesting to see exactly how these users are in interacting with my websites. So I'm sure the possibilities here for you guys are endless in, in terms of what uh, you can do with this program. And the best part is, like I said, it's free. You can sign up for their free account, um, which is, uh, let's see here, if I go, let me log out of my account so I can get access to their pricing page. Where is it? Plans and pricing. So you get free $0 a month, obviously. You get 100 recorded sessions on one website. Okay, uh, this is the one that I eventually am going to upgrade to. I want to put it on more than uh, just the one website, and I want to have a lot of recorded sessions. Uh, I think 80 bucks a month is very, very much worth it with respect to uh, what I'm going to get out of it um, for putting it on more than just my one website, because I want to see all my websites and how people are interacting uh, with that with the websites. In any case, if you think you would like to give it a shot, I would love it if you would go through my affiliate link. Of course, this is a shameless self-promotional uh, plug here. Uh, just go to my um, my affiliate link, which is inspectlink.com forward slash and then question mark U equals Trevor. Obviously, this is not a very um, friendly way to uh, to say it over audio, so I'll post this link as well in the uh, in the Facebook post or wherever it is that I'm actually uh, sharing this video. So, by all means, I think it's absolutely worth it to sign up, even just for free, to try it out. It's easy to install on your website. It's just a regular old plugin, like any other plugin um, you would install. It's a copy paste of a, of a piece of script of code. Um, piece of cake straightforward awesome awesome product I love it I love Inspectlet I've been talking with them back and forth with their support and whatnot um, trying I was actually trying to haggle with them to see if I get a deal uh, and they actually did offer me uh, a discount off of the startup plan they gave me 15% off because I said I, I, I liked it so much so uh, I would actually uh, urge you to do the same thing might as well uh, work your flex your entrepreneurial and um, uh, haggling muscles by doing that. In any case, take care, guys. Uh, always fun to do these things, and uh, hope you have a good one. Cheers.